In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make our canvas or chart.js flexible on horizontal and vertical levels. So for example, here, if I would make this one, you can see here it becomes flexible. And if I'm going to compress it on a vertical level, you can see it will compress nicely as well, completely to that. So let's start to look how we can do this. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on chart.js3.com getting start it once you're on here scroll down and copy this chunk of code next if you want to get the source code of this video and many others check out my patreon page and of course got a question put it on discord all the links are in the description box so what we're going to do here is well there are a few things we need to do or basically two parts the first thing is that by default this is not really flexible if i move this one as you can see here it doesn't work and if i do the same going up it doesn't really work and the reason why it doesn't work is, first of all, the width right now is based on the diff. And the diff we are in is this chart box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a bit more flexible. I'm going to say here 80%. Save. Refresh. So once we did this, we create a flexible part here. But if we're going up, it doesn't work. And the reason why that is the case is because we have here the width with an aspect ratio. So we're going to scroll down here. I'm going to say here, maintain aspect ratio, which is by default for bar chart two. So the width will be twice the length of the height. So we're going to set this on false. By doing that, it becomes a bit more flexible, but you can see this is kind of weird. We don't want this. However, if I move this one now, there you are. And if I would move this one up, I think it's already in the most smallest possible amount. So what I would do here now is extend the height of this, but the height here that will be in CSS as well, we're going to say your height will be equal to 80% or any other number. 80% of the diff. So it's more a CSS issue. So if I move this now up, there we are, it becomes flexible. And if I move it to left to right, there you are becomes flexible as well and if I move this up and down uh, let's see can I get it there we are you can see here now it can be very compressed and that's it 